Mark your calendars, folks, as I believe we've got a good feast of many firsts here today. This here video is not only our very first Mod Monday in Solo Don't Starve, but it's also going to highlight a mod expansion over that of just a default mod, something that we have never seen in this long-running series. But familiar faces in Map 99 and Default to return to bring us figs and cranberries, everyone. It's a gourmet extravaganza expansion. And in typical them fashion, there is much more to it than a 15 course meal. New mobs, set pieces, and foodies await. So let's eat. Well, not quite actually. Cause let's fire through the basics before chowing down, yes? Yes, and we begin with a new yet recognizable sight in Hanging Fig Vines. Called Mossy Vines and Don't Starve Together, they have made their way from the waterlogged biome to the deep rainforest of Don't Starve Hamlets, and will work essentially all the same in either game, apart from these vines taking double the time to grow back. But as for the remaining content, we'll actually be having us set sail to Shipwrecked in order to find some new flora called Viney Grapeberry Bushes here. Harvest them with the machete when you see them bearing fruit, and some new grapeberries will be yours in groups of three, actually. Be mindful though, gathering either of these new foodies will not be without the occasional trouble given to us by yet another new thing, the black fly. The black fly is actually an unimplemented feature made real via this mod that has a chance to spawn whenever we pick a vine or hack a bush, with them being far more common during the latter, mind you. However, I wouldn't worry too much, as they're very easy to kill, and only deal 10 damage a hit. They're mostly just there to be a nuisance if you know what I mean, but hey, enjoy the random seed drops now and then I suppose. But don't let your guard down quite yet, as there is actually one last new mob that could potentially be quite dangerous around these parts. The Tree Neticles. They are found all around fig vines, so be mindful there. But they're identical to normal tentacles, minus their lesser damage actually, so they shouldn't be too bad. The best part though, is that these things drop at least one twig and one living log each, so take advantage of that for sure. But Beard, where do we actually find all this crap in the first place? Is it anywhere specific, or is the content just gonna be everywhere? Well, when it comes to them grape berries and their bushes we mentioned, only one island in the entire world will be housing them. So you best be prepared to island hop for sure. But don't expect pigs to be in just any deep rainforest either, because they're not. They're actually in but two of them. The Pugilus slash Fountain of Youth Island will offer a decent amount of them, while the Ancient Herald Island here will offer the most, so make note there. And as far as I can tell, there is no way to get more vines or bushes, so you get what you get. Ah, but there is actually one other location to highlight today, and that's the poison rainforest of Don't Starve Hamlets. For you see, fig vines exist within them too. However, these vines are sickly, therefore they won't be providing us figs, but rather spoiled figs instead. A whole new fig type, even for Don't Starve Together. Now. Normal figs will eventually spoil into spoiled figs here if you can't enter the poison forest, but why care about spoiled figs at all you ask? Well, I'd certainly never eat them considering their minus 10 hunger, zero sanity, and minus 1 health restorations, but they can be used for fertilizer if you do so choose. That, or they can be combined with nectar from snap toots and some cloth for a sack of figs, which is essentially a bucket of poop clone offering 12 uses in total if that's your thing. But that's not all, as a sack of figs will also help repair our boats by 30 points each use, so make note there. Not too shabby all around, I'd say. But folks, that's pretty much it. That's the gist of the new content from the mod expansion right there. So from here on out, it's pretty much foodies and munchies time alone, so I hope you're hungry. Figs themselves will see no change to their stat regens when either raw or cooked as compared to Don't Starve Together, so we best start with the newer stuff, yes? Yes. So that brings us to these. Dried figs. The mod allows us to dry figs on a drying rack, and after a day's time, a dried fig will restore 12 hunger, 15 sanity, and 3 health pop. Truly not bad at all. And in a similar vein, we can choose to dry grape berries on a rack in order to eventually get raisins here. 
and raisins will grant us 12 hunger and 15 sanity once more, but we'll up the health we get to 8 instead. But enjoy it all. But hold up, Beard. I want to do that, but I can't get any more grape berries or raisins. What gives? Well, when you harvest a grape berry bush, it will take it five days to reach stage one here, which will actually bear no fruit, as you can see. Stage one will then take two days to grow into stage two, which bears unripe grape berries that will still be useful here in a minute, mind you. And finally, stage two will hit stage three here after yet another two days, and then ripe grape berries will be waiting for you. You got it? Good. Because it's dinner time. Ripe grape berries will restore 12 hunger and 8 health to munch, with unripe grape berries restoring the same minus that 8 health as you can see. But get them both over a fire and enjoy 12 hunger once more, but that 8 health will return to unripe grape berries, with ripe grape berries jumping all the way to 16 health to bite, which is actually pretty nuts. But it's all nothing compared to what's to follow. The crockpot dishes. Grape berry jello is first, and with one ripe berry and three honey, you will enjoy 25 hunger, 15 sanity, and 30 health a meal. Even everything out with two ripe grape berries and two honey for a grape berry tart, and it will give you 25 hunger, 33 sanity, and 20 health stat regens. Toss a twig and ice in instead for grape berry pops that will cool us down, heal us for nothing, but will still grant us 25 hunger and 33 sanity a lick, so that's great. Toss together three ripe berries and a chunk of ice for some red wine to help wash everything down, I suppose and enjoy 9 hunger, 10 sanity, and a whopping 60 health restored each sip. Simply forego anything fancy and simply smash together 4 ripe grape berries for ripe grape berry jam, and it will restore 37.5 hunger, 5 sanity, and 20 health a pop. Do the exact same bloody thing, but with unripe grape berries for unripe grape berry jam for mostly the same stats, but lesser across the board, of course. Toss 2 unripe berries together with two ice for grape berry sorbet and enjoy 37.5 hunger, 15 sanity, a whopping zero health, and a brief cooldown here and there when consumed. Use two raisins and two fruit for a raisin muffin that will give us 25 hunger, 10 sanity, 20 health, and the ability to cut the effectiveness of negative sanity auras by 50% for a half a day. And yes, that will stack. Two raisins and two honey equals raisin pinwheels here that restore 37.5 hunger, 15 sanity, and a decent 30 health a pop. Returning the figs for a second, as two figs and two honey will equal figgy pudding, which is the only new fig dish available for this mod, but it will restore 25 hunger, 50 sanity, and zero health a munch. And finally, a fig, a ripe grape berry, meat, and a beefalo horn of all things will all come together to make a hornocopia. It will grant us 112 hunger, 33 sanity, and 60 flippin' health a feast. Good stuff. And there you have it, everyone. The figs and grape berry expansion for gourmet extravaganza. Yes, the original four fig recipes that were recently introduced in Don't Starve Together are indeed in this mod. But since they are actually nothing special, especially compared to the rest of it, and kind of already known, I imagine, I kind of stuck to the unique stuff, so I hope you don't mind. But thanks for watching, folks. Much love to Matham99 and Default for all their bloody work across the board. Eat up, and I'll see ya in the next one. Bye-bye.